Hey everyone, my name is Connor. I am 21 years old and I live full time in a 7x12 cargo trailer. I'm going into my senior year of college and instead of paying outrageous rent to live in a house just to go to school, I decided to start living in this cargo trailer that I converted last year. Um, in order to do so, I've spent this summer doing some renovations on the trailer that would make it a little more comfortable to live in full time. Um, I have a video on the channel of a cargo trailer tour um, that was this past winter and that was before I did some small things that were going to make it really comfortable to live in. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And this is an updated tour of all the renovations I've completed. And this will pretty much be how the trailer is when I'm living in it. Okay, so we're going to start off in the front V section of the trailer. And this is where one of the two countertops are located. Um, it houses the sink and then it has the switches for the lights up here. And then now it has the second wall of the bathroom. Um, if you remember in the other video, this curtain used to just run up around the top and the bathroom was not finished, um, but I have since then completed the bathroom and added some storage racks on this wall right here. Um, and then the rest of this V is just storage and stuff that I'm gonna be getting to a lot. Um, the door is right here, so I keep keys hanging on the wall and then um, any kind of items that if I'm working outside, I need to come in and grab so I don't have to walk through the trailer. Um, the stick-on backsplash is the same. Um, the tongue and groove is the same wood that's used all the way around the trailer and then it is also used in the bathroom here. Um, and then this white particle board down here is just to break up the color in the bathroom. So here we have the bathroom. We still have the same curtain but now it is on a rod instead of just mounted to the ceiling. Um, if you can see right here, this is how I hang my clothes. Um, this is just a pop-out clothes hanger and then I can fit, I don't know, 12 to 15 hangers on it. Um, I'm at the lake right now, so I don't have all of my polos, but since I still am in college, I have to dress up every now and then, uh, so usually this is more full. Um, and then this hanger just collapses against the wall when it's not in use, which is really nice. Um, like I said, the wood is all the same as the rest of the trailer, and then we have the white down at the bottom. Slide the curtain this way. Um, this is the light for the bathroom. It's just a battery-powered light. Um, I didn't have enough switches to run them, so I just used that. And then over here we have the medicine cabinet. Um, it's got a really strong magnet on it, so I don't have to worry about stuff falling out, but it does slide around whenever I'm driving, so you have to kind of fix it when you get there. Um, and then I use the same toilet, which is a Thedford Porta Potty Curve. Um, I don't use the restroom in here as much as you would think. Um, I am living in the backyard of somebody's house, and so I get to use their guest bathroom, which is really nice, and it helps a lot living in here. Um, I had a lot of questions as to why I didn't add a shower and the main reason to that is because there are no roof vents on this trailer. So I was going to add, um, if I had a vent I would add a Max Air fan or a Fantastic fan and that would be able to draw the moisture out of the trailer. Um, but since I don't have that and I just have the two windows on the side, there is not a good way to get water moisture out of the trailer. And being such a small area, I didn't want it starting to have problems with other stuff in the trailer. So no shower um, when I'm camping. I do use just a solar bag um, and it's worked really well. It's like five gallons, they're all over Amazon. Um, so that's what I use whenever I'm staying somewhere that I don't have access to a shower. Um, and I'll show you a better look at the inside of this real quick. All right, so like I said, here is the way that I hang my clothes and that does fold up against the wall right there. And I also have two storage bins down here um, that I keep random gear in. And then other storage, medicine cabinet, and here is the toilet. Now the bathroom was one of the big reasons that I wanted to do the renovations in the first place this summer. Um, before it was just a curtain and I didn't like the look of it because it didn't match everything else. Um, and so I'm finally happy with it. Like I said, I wish I would have been able to add a shower, but it just didn't work out with the space, so the next one that I build will definitely have a shower in it. Okay, so now we have the kitchen side of the trailer. Um, this is located in between the bathroom and then the bed right back here. Um, and this is, I don't cook very often in the trailer, but when I do, I do it right here. Usually it's just making coffee in the morning so I don't have to be outside. Um, and then I'll make some small stuff in here, but like I said, there's no vent on the roof, so it's very hard to get the fumes out of the trailer, and I just don't want them soaking into the wood 
Um, so, like I said, not much cooking, but it is a nice large countertop area. I will do more like food prep, and then I cook most of my food outdoors. Um, I just enjoy it, and it's easier than having to worry about cooking in the trailer. Um, up top, we have just a simple cabinet that houses plates, cups, um, bowls, stuff like that. Down below here, we have a cabinet that has slide out for silverware, and then it also keeps um, just it's kind of like a junk drawer as a regular house. Um, keep that stuff here, and then below is what I would call my pantry. Um, it just kind of has pretty much everything that doesn't have a home in a cabinet or a drawer, um, and so lots of random stuff gets put down there. Um, like I said, this countertop, it's a nice open space. You can kind of do other things on it if you need to, but usually it just holds stuff or it's where I prepare food to cook. Um, this cabinet right here is where I keep more of my everyday items that I need to get to. Um, so I just have these storage bins here, and as you can see, they're very full. Um, and it's stuff that cords or electronics, just general things that I'm going to be pulling in and out all the time. Um, and same thing up top. Um, on the last video, I did have a lot of people question the security of these cabinets when I'm driving on the road. Um, as far as the large cabinet goes with the heavy stuff, when I am driving, I do take the bins out to um, eliminate any risk of them falling out of the cabinet. Um, but these little eye hooks have been great. I've never had a problem with them. But I'm sure if I kept the heavy items in the cabinet, it would be a different story. Um, and so I just keep those on the floor by the door and I've never had an issue. Uh, and then right here is my fridge. It's a Frigidaire. I'm not exactly sure of the size, um, but it has a little freezer up top, and then just, it's pretty much a mini fridge from there. Um, and so I keep anything in there that I need to. And then the top of the fridge is where I store a lot of items. Uh, my computer, whenever I'm not using it, keep the camera gear, a fan, and then this is just a, little dehumidifier. Um, company's Evadry. I got it on Amazon and it's pretty great for something like this because it doesn't take any power to use until it's full of moisture and then you just plug it into the wall and it heats up and dissipates the moisture. So I like that. Yeah, I can probably go around a month without having to plug it into the wall to get it dehumidified. Okay, now we're in the rear of the trailer and this is where I have the bed. This is a full-size mattress. Um, it's a standard mattress that you would see in any house. Um, and then I also have this bench right here that I'm sitting on. I built this bench over the summer um, as a place to sit, obviously, and um, I store most of my clothes underneath it. Um, previously in the other design, I would only sit on the bed and it's very uncomfortable to eat on. And if you're just trying to sit and work on a computer or do whatever, it's just not a very practical way to do that. So I built this bench. Um, it's 18 inches wide by 42 inches long. And that's a pretty standard size for most outdoor patio furniture. So finding a cushion for it was pretty easy. Um, I could have made one myself, but I was running out of time and this was a simple solution. See, I did mount the TV up there. That is new from the last time um, in the room I was living in at a house I had this TV already and so I decided I would just mount it in here um, and how I watch it is I just will download stuff to my computer or my um, tablet and then just stream it onto the TV usually just plug it in through an HDMI cord and that's all it has so that's the general majority of the trailer um, I did add hardwood floors which I'll show you next and then also I added um, solar on the roof but it's really windy outside so I'm gonna wait until it dies down to film that part um, and then I will try to show you underneath how the solar is set up okay so here we have a better look at the bench seat um, like I said it's 42 inches long comes out from the bed and basically stops at the door and then it is 18 inches wide um, and that's a pretty standard bench size like I mentioned um, and as you can see here under the bench, we have three storage bins. Um, and this is what I keep all my clothes in. So one loaded with shirts. And then one for shorts. And one for socks and underwear. So 
All right, so now we'll take a better look at the solar that is under the bed. Um, for starters here, we can see two different outlets. Um, this outlet on the left over here is wired into the solar, and then this outlet on top is wired into shore power. Um, it's all powered by 200 watts of monocrystalline solar panels. Um, those are on a roof rack on the top of the trailer. Uh, Renergy brand, um, I bought the 200 watt kit and so it came with the MPPT charge controller as well as the Bluetooth system and all the wiring necessary for that. So like I said, it's too windy right now, but once it calms down, I will do a video on the solar up there. Um, we'll start with the shore power that comes in. Um, this box right here is the 15 amp breaker. Um, so it comes in right there behind it and then goes into the box. It's got a breaker and then it runs to a GFCI outlet that is on this wall right here where this is um, and that is basically for the fridge and the AC and that's kind of all that that runs. Um, and then it also runs into this outlet right here next to the camera where I said that it has um, that it uses a shore power. That's pretty much it for shore power. Um, and then as the solar comes in in the back down here and then it runs into the charge controller up here and then it goes out of that and to the battery. There's a group 29 um, Everstart battery. It is a lead acid and I will be replacing it soon. Um, just the funds right now to buy a new battery weren't there. And since I'm running the air conditioner constantly right now, um, the air gets filtered out so I don't have to worry about the fumes um, that are released through a lead acid battery. Um, and then from the battery, it goes into a PureSign 1500 watt inverter. Um, this is, uh, the brand is Tech On, and I got it on Amazon. It was right around $200, um, but it's 1500 watts continuous, 3000 watt max. Um, and it has three outlets on the front, and one of them runs directly to its own outlet, own GFCI outlet here, and that is for the fridge whenever I'm not plugged into shore power. And then the other one runs up to the outlet right here, and there's also an outlet on the front of the bench right by the door. Um, and then it also goes, from the battery, it goes just to a USB and a 12 volt socket that's on its own switch and then it also runs into the front of the trailer where the switch outlet is that powers all the lights. Alright that's basically it for the tour of the updated cargo trailer conversion. Um, like I said I will be living in it full time. Um, right now the timeline is a year. Um, it could go more but um, it's going to be at least a year because that is how long I have until I'm done with school. So um, the changes that were made were made to make living it a little more comfortable. Biggest thing was storage for clothes. Um, I wanted to redo all the electricity so that added the solar and then also the breaker for the shore power um, and then the bathroom and those were the main things that I was trying to do this summer um, and then also uh, the hardwood floors and the TV were added just for more convenience factors. Um, so. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe and let me know if you have any comments down below um, for any parts of the trailer. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned and I'll show you how it is living in here full time. Thanks.